Welcome to Elevate 808, a show where we focus on local small businesses and the people behind them. You know, running a business and having a family is difficult enough. Imagine running two businesses and a two-year-old. Well, that's what Kylie Lynn and her husband are doing right now. They not only own Air Park Karaoke, but they also own Cafe Asia and are parents to a two-year-old son. Uh, needless to say, their story is absolutely inspiring and jaw-dropping at times. But that's why we're excited to share their story. So let's go ahead and pull up a plate, grab some food, and let's elevate 808. Hey Kylie, thanks for joining us here. How you doing? Hi Nolan, thank you for having me. Um, doing all right. Yeah, this is definitely um, a different and trying time. <laughs> well, I, I can already tell, I can hear in the background, uh, you got your young, is it your son? Yes, Nathan, uh, how... my two year old. Um, <laughs> yes. So yeah, try to, try to uh, think about my quarantine life with a two-year-old who's going through two uh, terrible two face <laughs> is, is he is he going through through it hard is he going through the terrible twos pretty tough yeah i wish i can say no but yeah absolutely is. <laughs> <laughs> well my mom would would sympathize with you because she loves to remind me that i had a really terrible terrible twos so <laughs> so i apologize on behalf of your son years later he'll he'll be apologetic <laughs> well, um, you know, as a parent, we, this is what we got to do. And I actually kind of enjoy the quality time and uh, that we usually don't have this much free time. But now now I have this much free time. I, I can't complain that I do get to spend more time with my son right now. Yeah. Well, it's it's interesting that you say that because, um, you know, part of the reason why I wanted to have you on here is, of course, I. Uh, We've become such great friends uh, throughout the years of knowing each other, but also, and I, and I love your restaurant as well. And I love what your the new innovative things that you're doing to kind of uh, work with the current situation with the quarantine and such, which we'll get to. But um, there's kind of a, a a bond here in that um, you are a, a parent and you are raising a child and running a family business or family businesses. And that's kind of what my upbringing was. You know, I was a, I grew up in, in our family business because my mom uh, worked for our family restaurants and such. So I thought it'd be really neat to, for those who don't understand the dynamic of having not only your own business, but having to also raise a family at the same time. So how, is, how has it been for you to be able to juggle running a business or running two businesses rather, having mm -hmm. a two-year-old and also dealing with the quarantine uh, and the COVID-19 pandemic? Uh, well, honestly, Nolan, <laughs> um, it's, it's, uh, it's challenging, but uh, we expect that, you know, parenthood has always been uh, something that we, we uh, learn as we go, shall we say. And um, balancing that between, uh, between that and uh, running business, of course, it, it, it's a, uh, uh, something that uh, my husband and I are still learning uh, our way through, but we do try to work with each other and um, uh, give basically uh, each other responsibility. Hey, you do this part, I do this part. And then at the same time, we communicate and see um, how, how much time we can contribute and focus on one thing at a time uh, while the other one take care of the others things so basically yeah we would try to communicate and work things out with each other um and then you know try to balance as much as we can um yeah that's great because i i would say like uh, everybody will say that communication is the key to success whether it's in in a marriage in a business partnership in relationships and in, in parenting and all that and to know that that's what kind of has been your focus and, and it's funny because people say like, you know, having your own business is like having your own child. Well, you have an actual child and a business. It's like you got all of them. You got a lot of hands full there, huh? Yeah, it's like we're having three babies, like uh, two <laughs> business plus an uh, actual baby. <laughs> did you grow up? How did you get involved in, in becoming an entrepreneur? And 
opening your own bar and opening your own restaurant. Is that something that you grew up in as, as a child yourself? Like, did your family run businesses too? Uh, so um, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of background so you, you can, um, I guess, like, that will explain a little. Um, I was born in China um, and uh, my family moved to U.S. when I was a, a early teen. And we uh, basically lived in East Coast for majority of my life uh, through college and uh, that. Um, after graduating a couple of years, I got married to my husband and uh, we were here uh, in Hawaii for honeymoon <laughs> when oh. um, I realized how much I uh, fall in love with Hawaii. And I told him, hey, we should consider moving here and then open up a business. And at the time, he already um, had owned and run a couple of business, like including a restaurant and a karaoke bar. And um, you could say that I married into it, but growing up, um, you know, I would uh, go uh, work at a restaurant, wait tables to earn tuition money through college. So um, something that I was al already familiar with, um, you know, you could say that. And then um, he, he thought that was uh, something uh, totally crazy and random, but we did <laughs> right away went online to do a lot of research and um, maybe like about three, uh, four months later, we found the spot to open our first uh, business and we decided to stay. So we bought round trip ticket, but we didn't actually fly back. <laughs> Oh, wow. And yeah, we just uh, decided to stay and then moved everything from East Coast to over here. Um, so uh, two years ago, 2018, was a super busy year for us because um, we we had our first baby, Nathan, in the <laughs> springtime. And then we opened the Cafe Asia, our uh, restaurant business, in the late fall. So it was super, super busy year for our family for um, me and Chen, but um, it was very um, exciting at the same, same time, yeah. When when I had heard that, uh, I was just like, I don't know how you're a human being and able to do all of that. That's that's insane, but you guys were able to do it. And, and that's a testament to your hard work and dedication, but uh, that, you know, that when there where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. What was it about Hawaii that made you wanna move here? I mean, that's a pretty big deal to go from like just here on a, on a trip to moving your entire family and starting a, a business here? Um, honestly, it's just the nice weather and um, we, we really love the local culture and the people here uh, really touch our heart, especially the Aloha spirit that we came to learn. Um, we have never like experienced such a welcoming community uh, anywhere else um, as much as compared to here I should say and then uh, yeah just really feel like we we felt at home and um, I told my husband hey you marry me let's do this <laughs> 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 uh, but going back to your question about uh, um, you know like 2018 run, having a baby and opening a yeah. restaurant um, honestly it was with a lot of help uh, we were very lucky to have um, help from we have, we have an amazing staff at both business, um, uh, our bar and our restaurant as well. So my husband is very supportive and um, we have great family support that flew in just to help me with the baby. Uh, there's no way we could have done it without uh, any of their help. Yeah, I remember when I was working with the radio station and, and we did a fun little game <laughs> with you. One of the question we had was like, how many people are living at your house at the time? And like you had like a, was it, is it like a two bedroom eight. or three bedroom? Yeah, three like, bedroom. We had eight yeah. people living. <laughs> at that at that very uh, moment, there were eight people because um, it That's was crazy. fall break or something. So my sisters were also visiting from East yeah. Coast. <laughs> so it was like in-laws and my sisters and everybody was here. <laughs> That's amazing though. But I, I, I know that when, when we had talked back then, you were just so appreciative of, of how much help and support you had with your family and, and your staff and stuff. And that's uh, one of the things that I enjoyed when um, when we first went, when you first opened up Air Park was mm -hmm. just how much fun, you know, was just hanging out with you and, and talking story with you. It just You're just so down to earth and, and your staff real innovative oh, and creative you. with their, their drinks and stuff. And so when you opened up your restaurant, um, you know, I had no doubt that it'd be kind of a similar thing. What 
what inspired you to decide to go with this particular type of restaurant that Cafe Asia is, which is Shabu Shabu? Because, um, you know, that that's kind of a big undertaking as far as like a lot of fresh produce and a lot of equipment for people having to cook on the tables and stuff. That's a pretty big deal. Um, my husband, he he was the main uh, mastermind behind the restaurant, um, Cafe Asia. Uh, because he always had a passion for food, um, especially growing up cooking with his mom. I mean, um, I can say my mother-in-law is a great cook, um, <laughs> first-hand experience, right? Um, and so he wanted to do something when we moved to Hawaii Kai from town um, in 2017, we started looking for a, a, a location to open a restaurant. And the reason we chose Shabu Shabu was because it, uh, it was not existent on the East Oahu side. And we thought, hey, why not bring something uh, new and fresh um, and different to this side of the island where, uh, you know, the community would like to have, right? Yeah. So um, we found the space and opened up a, a year later. Um, it, yeah, and then we were overwhelmed at how much love and support we've been getting from the uh, local community from this side of the island. Um, so yes, <laughs> what I know that you, you know, with with your having your own shabu shabu restaurant, that you wanted to kind of put your own stamp on it to set you apart from. I mean, I know there weren't any other shabu shabu restaurants mm -hmm. on that side of the island, but. There are other shabu shabu restaurants all across mm -hmm. the island and stuff, but mm -hmm. each one has their own unique style and flavor. And mm -hmm. and I know what yours was, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. what was what was your focus as to what you wanted to bring that was unique and different to? to uh, your I restaurant? think what 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 made us unique was a couple of things. Uh, aside from uh, shabu shabu, which is our main uh, thing that we offer, we also have a. Um, very nice uh, wide selection of uh, poopoos that was some of which are original recipes that uh, my husband made um, and they were like very popular like Cafe Asia pop stickers with a whole shrimp and pork inside and then we have um, the a beef summer roll which is a, a customer all-time favorite it's um, summer roll but with like a grilled ribeye beef and mushroom wow. and lettuce wrapped inside um, it's just a mouthful of deliciousness. Um, and then, <laughs> yeah, I see you. <laughs> Ribeye is my that. favorite cut of meat. Yeah. <laughs> just like that gesture where you like swallow, swallow your... <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds very good, right? Um, you know, things like that. And then uh, we also try out different specials like Nabe special, ramen special um, throughout the season. Um, because when summertime came, um, it was a little bit... Uh, like weather-wise is maybe a little bit too hot for a hot pot. So we will come out with uh, um, alternative dishes like chef specials for people to enjoy. Um, and then uh, another thing that made us stand out was uh, we combined, um, uh, I guess like best of few Asian cuisine. Um, that's why we call it Cafe Asia because it wasn't just a Japanese or a Chinese hot pot. Uh, place it was like mm -hmm. we combined it with uh, Japanese flavor Chinese flavor um, flavors from uh, even Tom Yang which is a, a, a Thai uh, flavor right and right then, right yeah so kimchi Korean so yeah a, a bunch of different Korean uh, sorry Asian uh, flavors yeah that's what I loved about it was the variety of it and it's, mm -hmm. it's so appropriate that you know you wanted to have all the flavors of Asia instead of just one and because here in Hawaii that's kind of like how our 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 melting pot of cultures is like everybody mm -hmm. kind of mixes in with each other so I, I love that that you you kind of combined it all into one place so you're saying that you're doing takeout shabu shabu how how is that packaged and, and prepared like how is it how have you been able to make it that it is now a takeout type style meal um, so for our shabu shabu takeout, um, if you have dined in with us before, you'll know that we use uh, very high quality fresh ingredients. Um, even for our meat, uh, I'm proud to say that we have very good quality meat here. Um, so now we would just slice the meat and pack package them uh, in, in raw uh, raw in a container where you would take home. And we do advise you you cook it well done since it, it's being transferred to your home. Um, 
but yeah, we still have all the great um, broth options and uh, we provide the sauces, um, all the um, vegetables and uh, they're all packaged separately. So when, when you take it at home, when you take it home you can reheat um the broth and it's uh the broth we give you is uh concentrate so you can add some oil to uh dilute it and make a oh. big pot yeah oh wow mm -hmm. so people just throw it back onto the stove heat it up and then just throw in the ingredients there exactly yeah so it's pretty much having hot pot at home but everything's already uh ready and set for you and our meat is thinly sliced so it's very enjoyable as well you had mentioned to me before when when i had come by about the meats that you carry and and, mm -hmm. and you mentioned how it's high quality but you even went into detail about the the grade and like what makes it high quality can you explain a little bit about why uh, you can say that your the meats that you carry are are high quality wow i can't believe you remember this very good <laughs> that was, it was a big deal to me because i thought yeah. that was really unique and, and i thought more people should know about it for yeah, sure yeah absolutely um so to most people um uh unfortunately sometimes you can't really tell uh too much difference just from looking at it but um sometimes you can taste the difference yeah um, but yeah, uh, the grades goes like the prime, which is the highest grade, and then it goes choice, then it goes to select. So select is probably the most common and basic and uh, the least expensive. Then you have the choice grade, uh, which is a, a medium one, and then the highest grade, which is the prime. Um, so we use pretty much everything prime if we can find it. And then we have a couple of the choice grade. Uh, we never use select grade. And why was that important to you? Because I think a lot of people would, who who run food places, are like, well, it's just gonna go and and boil in in the soups, and the broth will cover the flavor. Like, they they won't know the difference. Let's just go with the the less expensive one. Why did why was it important for you to have such a high grade meats? Um, I think that goes to uh, you know, the the integrity of our uh, business, and we want to provide the best quality. Then if we uh, advertise that we have the best quality and we assure you we would have it um, mm. and also it's uh, healthier in my opinion to have a uh, better quality ingredients yeah. in your diet um, of course uh, everyone would have their budget and choices so um, that's totally fine um, but yeah in also in the, on the uh, uh, East Oahu side we have the more uh, elderly clientele where they um, uh, probably value the uh, the quality of their um, food a little bit more than right. the other generations. Yeah, that makes sense. So as far as I know, a lot of people who are in the, the restaurant business, they have different reasons why that is something that they, uh, you know, that they appreciate or that that's why they're in that type of industry for whatever their own personal reasons. For you, what is being in the food industry, um, why is it significant to you that you want to, to not only be in it, but to stay in it, especially during these difficult times? What is it about the food industry that fuels your passion? Uh, for me and my husband, um, we, um, okay, it might be because we're, we're Chinese <laughs> too. <laughs> um, so yeah, food is a big part of our uh, culture, um, childhood, growing up, you know, um, and uh, just being able to uh, have a business and run a business and offer family type of comfort food um, uh, with high ingredients. Like, so yeah, we feel like we're we're uh, very engaged in this community and we um, part of the community. Um, and uh, like a lot of family restaurants, even though we're kind of new still, mm -hmm. but um, we, we want to become like a family restaurant in the neighborhood where people would come back year after year. Um, in fact, I have something to share, like a story about um, a group of customer who lives close by Cafe Asia. And uh, when we first opened, the wife would come in and, uh, you know, dine with us and she was uh, a few months pregnant at a time at the time and then uh now well maybe like march and february 
uh, she would still bring her one year old baby to dine with us because you know like that's just how it is like we're we we really enjoy having family like that come in and then through their generation they still keep coming back and you know support business and we're able to provide something um like a nice meal to to them and their family friends and i think shabu shabu is is perfect to fill that for you because the idea exactly. is to just bring gather the family around and and enjoy together right exactly yeah absolutely great food option for family and friends so you also have some other new things that you introduced as well at the restaurant what else do you have going on i forgot to mention we have a great family recipe dumpling oh <laughs> That was yeah, you gotta that, talk about that. Yeah, that was yeah. See, I brought up the Chinese thing. You, um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, uh, my husband makes this really great dumpling, and he uses his family recipe. So right now we have three flavors: pork, beef, and fish, which is we use hamahi mahi. Um, it's not because we sell them, and it's my dumpling in my restaurant. Uh, but I could tell you it's the best tasting dumpling ever. Like I literally had to beg my husband to please put it on the menu because it's so good. I was like, it's unfair if you don't share with the rest of the world. Why didn't he want to share it? Why didn't he um, want to put it on the menu? So it, uh, making dumpling is uh, is a lot of work. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so we're making it from scratch. That's why. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So you can check out our uh, new menu on our website, uh, cafeasiahawaii.com, and everything that I mentioned is on there. Um, you guys can go check it out. And they can just order from the website and then pick, schedule the pickup? or. So to order, you can do it two ways. Um, you can order uh, directly by calling us and, uh, and just place the order. Then we will tell you to drive up and do a curbside pickup um, pay over the phone is preferred uh, or you can do it in person, but we have all the safety pr- procedure in place to uh, ensure minimize contact uh, as much as possible. And then uh, you can also order through our website, um, go to contact us page and just input your information and pre-order and uh, do a curbside pickup. Um, so yeah, those are very convenient ways right now for contactless um, yeah, takeout. And, and I, I need to go back to the dumplings because uh, you had me at dumplings. What, okay. I know you, know you can't give away the secret family recipe, mm-hmm. but what is it about it that makes, you, that makes it unique where you're like, this is the best? Like, is it the texture, the flavor, the way it's shaped? Like, what is it that, that makes someone, will help some, someone understand why this one is the best? Yeah, aside from the secret in the family recipe that I shouldn't share with everyone. (laughs) I think your husband would be very upset if you did. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, yeah, I would say it's uh, it's the way you cook it. Um, You can boil it, you can steam it, you can make it into popsicle. Um, Of course, you want to be a little bit careful with how you cook it. Otherwise, it will be uh, it will stuck together or the skin might fall apart if you overcook it things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, we sell them, by the way, I should mention, we sell them as frozen dozen. Uh, so oh, you okay. buy them in dozen, but they're all frozen dumpling. However, when you call in or place your order, you can mention that you want them cooked. So we would uh, boil them for you for just a couple of dollars extra per order um, to save you the hassle. But honestly, um, the reason we sell them in dozen uh, frozen is because then you can just keep it in the fridge for as long as you want and then have a late night snack or something yeah. like that. Yeah, um, I, I really, my absolute favorite, and I know um, it sounds so like um, uh, not original, my favorite out of the three is uh, pork. And uh, uh, I think that's a lot of people's favorite. However, I never had fish dumpling. And when my husband made it for me, I was like, oh, my God, this tastes so good. <laughs> so now, like, my favorite is, like, fish and pork, to, like, even. Like, there's it's... nothing there yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it sounds so good. All right. Well, is there anything else that um, you wanted to share as far as, I mean, you guys are doing some awesome stuff, and I'm really excited. I feel like 
uh, every week something new comes up with you guys because so, you're so innovative and, and creative. But um, anything that you would want our uh, audience to know about Cafe Asia? Uh, please follow us on Instagram or Facebook because we do have weekly, if not daily, updates about special like uh, oh. earlier um, this this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, we actually um, did a special where if you order over a certain amount, we give you a free dish. So that's going to be something like an ongoing promotion, but we will try it with different dishes to promote um, for each week or just for a period of time. So please follow us so you can get all the latest updates. Yeah, that sounds great. I, I love that you're you're being active with the social media in connecting with people and giving them a reason to follow because there's always something new coming up. That's really great. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. And thank you for having me. Oh, of course. You know, I, uh, from the day we met, I, I, I really wanted to see you succeed. And you guys, what you've done for not only uh, the community that you've been in, and both in town and now in uh, Aina Haina or New Valley rather um, mm -hmm. it's just uh, we need more people like you and your family and especially hardworking people like you so I'll, I'll always support you and, uh, and I'm a huge fan of you and your families and, and your businesses so very very honored to have you on here oh thank you Nolan you're so <laughs> kind thank you thank you so much um, I can say the same about you you're always so helpful and trying to spread the words for our business and um, there's, you know, a thousand words couldn't express my gratitude. So thank you. Ah, well, have a great time. I'll let you get back to your baby. Um, <laughs> Guys, both it's the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but thank you so much, and uh, we'll we'll be in touch. And I uh, I'm gonna have to pick up some dumplings real soon. <laughs> yeah, please do. Okay, take care. Okay. okay. Bye. Thank you.